All right, hi there, it's Dr. Buford. We're just getting started on the left shoulder. We're looking in from the back to the front. There's a blue cannula coming in the front. Right next to that is your biceps tendon. And then to the right of that, we can see some rotator cuff. We haven't really made a determination about the cuff yet, but we're just getting our first look. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like from the beginning. So we're going to use our shaver here. And we're seeing some old suture material right here. Looks like they may have worked on the biceps anchor before. And here we can see an area in the cuff that looks pretty red. So we'll keep looking here. I do want to show you one other thing while I have the video running. We can see you've got some arthritis in the joint. This is the socket or the glenoid down below. And um, you've certainly got some changes in the cartilage here. And then as we look at the humeral head up above, you can see some changes here. See how rough this is? And so this is what arthritis looks like in the shoulder joint where the cartilage is starting to break down a bit. So we'll work on some of these areas for a little bit. Okay, so we're just getting ready to cut the um, biceps tendon because it was torn at its insertion. Hold these a little snug right here. And uh, what you see here is a pair of scissors or right at the base of the biceps. And you can see how we've got our scissors around the tendon here. And now we've got that released. Here you go. Let me show you some more in a little bit. Okay, so here's the marker stitch in the cuff. So this is where the cuff was the most red on the articular side. On this side, it looks okay. It's inflamed, but, but I don't see any tearing in it, at least no gapping. So that's actually good news. So as we probe around, I'm looking for any calcium or anything like that to worry about. There's something over here. Let's see, that's our cannula. We're getting close to the sutures now. You can see the sutures are going to be right over here. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and um, have a look here, find those sutures. Again, those sutures are on the biceps tendon. But the good news so far is that the rotator cuff looks okay. I'm a little bit concerned if that's calcium or not. I can take a spinal needle and sort that out pretty quickly. We can just pass a needle down right here and see if we get any calcium out. And I'm not, so at least not yet. Yes, I think that's good. That's good news. 
So we'll go off on the video for a minute. Okay, so we're done with the biceps tenodesis. So we just put an anchor down and secured the biceps. You can kind of see the sutures going through it and down. That looks good. We had to do a little bit of a revision decompression, but not much. The first one was was uh, looked really good. And just to have one more look at the cuff, this is the anterior part of the cuff way up here. And then as we rotate, this is going towards the posterior, and I don't see any gaps. I see some redness, but I don't really see any significant calcium or any other things to worry about. We're going to have a little bit more of a look, but I think this will be the end of the video unless we find something else to do. Bye-bye now. Spinal needle.